sketch the graphs of y equals negative 3 to the x plus 4 and y equals log base 3 of x minus 2, identifying asymptotes at at least three points on each graph. Give exact values for coordinates of points, i.e. do not use a calculator to find x or y coordinates of points. Okay, fine. So, the first thing is the exponential and the log graphs. You can remember their basic shapes by the start of the E exponential and the L of log vertical and kind of cuts over the O of the log. These are the basic shapes of the log graph and the exponential graph. Now given that the log graph has the vertical asymptote, that helps you remember that the exponential graph has the horizontal asymptote. Okay, so how you find the horizontal asymptote of an exponential is the constant term, y equals 4. So the asymptote, y equals 4. Points on the graph. I love to use whatever value for x makes the exponent 0. In this case, 0 does it. So that I can utilize anything to the 0 as 1. Now this is negative 1 plus 4 is 3. So I have a point 0, 0,3. I have the horizontal asymptote at 4. Let's dash that line through. That's y equals 4. And we have the intercept. This is the y-intercept, 0, 3. Let's use 1. That's negative 3. 3 to the 1, which is negative 3, plus 4 is 1. 1, comma 1. And then we need to identify, um, it doesn't say find the intercepts or anything, so we just need one more point. Let's just use 2. Negative 3 squared, negative 9, plus 4 is negative 5. So 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5. So we're getting an exponential graph. Oh, these are so hard to graph by hand. And then just arrow to the right when you get too close to the intercept. So although I gave you the basic shape, this is a normal like 3 to the x, 5 to the x. Here we have a negative 3 to the x. But it still has the hallmark that one side's going horizontal and the other side's going off to an infinity. This one, the left side's going horizontal, and the right side's going to the down infinity. Three points and asymptote. Excellent. For a log graph, whatever's inside equals zero gives you your vertical asymptote. That's x equals two. For the points on the graph, I know a couple of facts about logs. Log base, any base you want of 1 is 0. I like that fact. Log base b of b is 1. And then as long as I stick to the base, the numbers inside, like powers of b, then I can get them to reduce nicely, stuff like that. Okay, so what value? If I plug in 2, that gives me 0. That's the vertical asymptote. Let's start with that. Vertical asymptote. Oh, man. I'm trying vertical. I really am. That's x equals 2. If I put in 3, then I get log base 3 of 3 minus 2 is 1. That's 0. There's a nice point, 3, comma, 0. If I put in for 5, then I get log base 3 of 5 minus 2 is 3. That's a nice one. That's 1. 
5 comma 1. And then if I were to plug in, let's see, powers of 3, 1, 3, 9. If I were to plug in 11, I get log base 3 of 9, which is 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's a little bit off the charts, but there it is. And we can label these, so there's no real issue that it's off the charts. This is vertical. This is really hard to graph. As soon as they get too close to the asymptote, just end with a, an arrow. And then this is just kind of going off. It never goes horizontal. Logarithms do not have horizontal asymptotes. So this will keep going up. There's no ceiling to stop it. Exponentials never have vertical asymptotes. So those there's no wall to keep this thing from continuing to go right. So we have the points on the graph. We have the asymptotes. This is everything we need. All right, hope this helps.